Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you a little more candidly in this episode, so no editing, no script, nothing like that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk about the subject that I think is a little pretty pretty important. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start at the beginning. So a little while ago, I was uh, on one of my videos about Chris Chan. Someone left a comment, and the comment was that they thought it would be funny if Chris Chan went on Dr. Phil. And I read the comment because I do read a lot of my comments. I don't read all of them, but I read usually the ones that are posted within the first couple hours of the video going up. And I thought it was pretty funny. So a little while later, I was doing one of my first live streams, and someone mentioned Chris. Uh, they made a reference to the ranch, which has become a meme because Dr. Phil is a meme thanks to PewDiePie. So they made a reference to the ranch or something like that. And I said, oh, you know, one of my commenters made a funny joke that we should send Chris Chan to the ranch. So it, it sort of became a meme on my channel that we should get Chris Chan to the ranch, that it would help him. It would help him if he went on Dr. Phil and it would be funny to see him. And PewDiePie would cover the story of Chris on Dr. Phil because he covered Chris, he, talk, he covered Dr. Phil. So it would be the perfect story for him to do. And that would be great and that would be a funny thing that we would all do together. Now, I personally follow the Prime Directive, which is do not interfere with Chris. Observe from a distance, don't interfere. So, I didn't really want Chris to go on Dr. Phil. I just thought it was a funny meme. Somebody then created a petition for getting Chris on Dr. Phil, and I said that I would support it if they did, and they did, and so I did, and then I mentioned it on my channel. I've been talking about it in my Chris Chan videos ever since. And I think it's cool to watch the numbers go up. We hit 500, then we hit 1,000, and it's been pretty great. There's actually a lot of support behind it. Some people are doing it for the joke. Some people are doing it because they think it'll help Chris. It doesn't matter. The point is that it's a, it's a meme on my channel. Lots of channels have memes that are specific to them. As the time went on, I thought that there were... I thought that there would be one of two outcomes to this petition. The first is that it would be noticed by someone on Dr. Phil's team. That I, I, I guarantee you that he has therapists on his team, he has psychologists, he has people who have access to uh, like homes for unfit, mentally unfit people. That someone would see the petition or that one of my fans would send the petition to Dr. Phil that it would be seen and that one of these people would then be able to help Chris. Because at the time, I was terrified that Chris would just be completely alone after his mother died. So I thought that this could legitimately be a way to help Chris because someone at Dr. Phil could help Chris. The second possibility is that absolutely nothing happens. Like he just, we, we sign the petition, no one ever sees it at Dr. Phil. They look at it and they just say, oh, this is dumb and move on and nothing ever comes of it. So those are the two options that I thought were possible. Then this happened. Uh, someone on Twitter asked Chris if he would go on Dr. Phil. And Chris said, only if Dr. Phil or his PR people personally contact me via the U.S. mail. Okay. So, like I said before, I think that the petition and that getting Dr. Phil to be aware of Chris would actually help Chris but I never wanted Chris to actually be on the show. Now it is possible that Chris could actually be on the show, and I am regretting ever supporting this petition. All it would take, now that the petition is, you know, has a lot of signatures and whatnot, is someone to send emails to Dr. Phil, and for them to see it, and for them to see this tweet, and for them to contact Chris, and then next thing we know, Chris is flying out to L.A. because he has the promise of thousands of dollars for appearing on Dr. Phil, and now he's the laughing stock of the entire country instead of just our niche internet fandom. That's not what I set out to do. I didn't want to create ripples and have this whole thing explode and be what it is. It was a joke among the people on my live stream, and then it was something that I thought might actually help Chris. In my opinion, if he actually went on Dr. Phil, there would probably be more harm than good done to him. If Chris's story was told to the entire country, that would probably not be a good thing. If you think that the trolls are bad now, imagine that times several hundred thousand people who would then know about him. So, 
basically what I'm saying is I'm torn because even though even though I didn't come up with the idea and even though I didn't make the petition and even though I haven't sent an email to Dr. Phil about it, I still feel personally responsible that this entire situation exists in the first place. And even though I'm not 100% certain that this would end up being bad for Chris, in fact, part of me believes that this could end up being good for Chris, it goes against my position that I shouldn't interfere. Like, I might buy something from Chris at some point, I want to buy Sonichu comics from him, I might pay him money to do an interview with him at some point. Those are different than getting him on Dr. Phil. I think that I, th I think that those are different levels of interfering. And I think that this level is slightly unacceptable. So, I, I don't want it to happen. And now that it looks like it is possible for it to happen, I'm, I'm going to backpedal. I'm backpedaling. That's what I'm doing right now. You can keep signing the petition. You can keep doing whatever you want. I'm just going to say that from this point onwards, I am going to report on what happens but not get personally invested. So this is my promise to you. I am not going to get personally involved with anything Chris Chan related again, as far as uh, making changes in his life. Until the, unless the day comes that Barb dies and there's no one else in the world to help him. Once that day comes, I might change my mind, but until that day comes, I will not do anything like this again with the exception of buying things from him and possibly doing an interview. I, if I go to a convention that he's at, I might go up and talk to him, things like that, but I will not try to steer the direction of his life. If any of you are on my Discord, you know that the number one rule of the Discord is not to do, is not to use it as a platform for creating, for colluding to manipulate Chris. That is rule number one, is you cannot collude to manipulate Chris. Because I think it is morally wrong, and I think it goes against the number one rule for watching Chris, which is don't interfere. There were some people who wanted to make fake Twitter accounts to follow Chris. They wanted to make brony art accounts so that maybe Chris would follow them back and they could follow him, and they could maybe be positive influences in his life. I still consider that manipulation. Lying to Chris, even if it's in your opinion, being done to make his life better is not acceptable because you do not have an objective view of morality and ethics and things like that. You can't fix Chris's life from afar is basically my opinion on the subject. And I'm going against my own views on that by supporting this Dr. Phil thing. So... I'm sorry if I keep repeating myself, but from here on out, I'm not going to do things like this, and I'm sorry that this got this far. I would very much have liked if it could have gotten just to what I was talking about before, where it was just someone on Dr. Phil who tried to help Chris, but I, I, I'm scared that Chris is going to find out that going on Dr. Phil will get him money, and then he'll want to do it just for the money not realizing how many more trolls it will create for him, not realizing how much worse it could make his life. So I'm not going to talk about that anymore. I'm not going to do things like this in the future. This is an apology. This is mostly, I'm mostly making this video as an apology to myself. But this is an apology to everyone out there who disagreed with what I was doing from the start or who along the way realized that it was, that it was a mistake because it was a mistake. That doesn't mean that next week I won't report that maybe someone else... If, if right now you, whoever you are, decided that you disagree with me and you're going to carry out a campaign to get him on Dr. Phil, I, I will report on that happening. But I am wiping my hands clean of it right now. I will no longer be involved. I do not put my stamp of approval on it. And I hope that nobody out there does either. And you certainly are not allowed to do it on my Discord. There is a link to my Discord in the description. It is mostly a very friendly place. We talk about Chris. We talk about other stuff. I do other stuff on this channel. We talk about that sometimes. I post links to when I'm live streaming. I post links to when I upload other videos. And I, I want to facilitate good, 
fun discussions, not this kind of stuff. This kind of stuff is way above our pay grade. We, even if we hold ourselves responsible, none of us are actually responsible enough to take Chris's life into our own hands like this, and so we should not even try. And I guess that's the perfect summary for this video. So, thank you for watching. I hope you understand. And I also hope you understand that I'm not being too hard on myself. I know I'm, I'm, I sound a little sour. I know I sound a little sour, but I don't want you to think I'm being too hard on myself. But this is the end. I'm not going to do this again. Thank you for watching.